Praise the Father in the name of Jesus. We come to you most clear. Thank you for being our heart and mind. Mm -hmm. Thank you for another day that allows us to see, Father. Yes, Lord. So thank you for all your many blessings that we can't even name each and every one. Yes, Lord. You've been so good and kind to us, mm -hmm. Father. You let us see another day. We're grateful and we thank you for this opportunity. Yes. All of us are right in the yes. name of Father. Yes. Father, we have to please to have a Yes. Father, we realize our sins is before. We ask forgiveness for all our sins and unrighteousness unto you, Father. Yes, Lord. Father, again, we say thank you for another day we've got to see. Let the blood of steel run forth in our family, Father. Father, we pray for our church family as a whole, Father. We pray for our nation as a whole, Father. Yes, Father, we don't know how to tell you what to do or how to do your work. We say, please, sir, have mercy. Have mercy. Father, please don't remember those that have suffered this morning, Father. Remember the storm, Victor. Father, remember those who mourn toward the land, Father. We pray for you. We pray for all the sick and the sick, Father. Yes, Lord. Father, we pray for those who walked the streets last night and stayed, Father. We ask the peace of our mercy. Father, we ask you, Lord. Father, we ask you, Lord. On each and every one. Oh, yeah. Thank you for another day, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for things being as well as it is. Yeah, Lord. Father, please, I have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen.
forgive those Jesus. 
you know not what you worship. They that worship the Father, or worship God, must worship Him. It's the Spirit and the truth. What you're saying about God must be true. What you're saying about God must be true. Amen. And so we thank God for allowing us to gather to worship Him. In spirit, you Now, in spirit, it don't mean that we're going to be running all over the church. Nothing uh -huh. wrong with that. But in spirit, sometimes people get mixed up. They think that means that we're going to be running all around, falling out, and turning flips, knocking chairs. Uh, that's not what uh, in spirit means. Amen. Worship comes from the heart. It flows from the heart. And as the saints of old used to say, uh, what comes from the heart reaches, reaches the heart. Then they would go so forth and say, you know, it's almost impossible for two houses to be side by side mm -hmm. and one catch fire and the other one can feel the heat. Amen. 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 It, will, it ought to go from heart to heart Amen. and breast to breast. Amen. Amen. So that's the kind of worship that God is looking for from His people. Amen. Amen. You know, there's so much going on in the world today. And so that we need uh, prayer. Amen. We need uh, prayer. Uh, for the whole world. And not for the world only, but for Amen. Amen. Uh, these United States. All right. Amen. We need a prayer. Amen. Jesus said this that a divided house cannot stand. And certainly we're living in a divided house in these in the United States. Amen. We have Republicans uh, fighting and hating Democrats and Democrats fighting and so it's a divided house. It yes, might be yes, yes. agree on nothing. Yes, yes. And the Bible is true. I believe the Bible. The Bible says a divided house. And these are the words of Jesus. A divided house will not stand. Amen. Where there's unity, yes, yes. there is strength. And then how can two walk together unless they Amen. And so as we gather to pray on today, let us uh, pray for, uh, you know, we're concerned about Israel, we're concerned about uh, Ukraine and Russia and all of these other places and Africa. Amen. So let us not forget to pray for our own country. Amen. Because while we're praying for them, it's almost like we're in their soul. That's right. Amen. Can't get along. Amen. 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 Same like a lost in our way. Amen. 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 But God is good. Yes, he is. And God is in control. Let us remember all of the sick and shut in everywhere, for we know God is able to heal sick bodies. He's able to lift up every bowed head and to give ease to all troubled uh, minds. And let us pray for, you know, again, our communities. Mm -hmm. We talk about foreign uh, terrorism, and uh, we're talking about fighting foreign terrorism, and we're living domestic terrorism mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. Amen. There's a meeting in St. Louis or in uh, Fountain Park mm -hmm. where folks met to talk about uh, Solutions to the gun violence. Mm -hmm. And when the meeting was out, it was all hidden ground. Mm -hmm. uh, folks were shooting mm -hmm. in the park. Amen. 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 And, uh, so we need prayer. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. We need uh, prayer for our uh, mm -hmm. people, not all just the young people, but young as well as old, same life that just lost all sense. What's right and what's wrong. Amen. 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 Children's lives are being taken by random uh, shooting guns. Mm -hmm. 
We thank you that he is our soon to come king. Oh yes. God, help us to be ready uh, when he comes. We thank you for all things. It's in the name of Jesus, our Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us continue to pray for all the sick getting in everywhere. Amen. We have quite a few birthdays in June, and some of them are almost like the back to the back. Amen. Thank God. Oh, happy birthday on tomorrow is uh, Mother Ivor uh, Williams' birthday and on the 4th will be Kimberly uh, Williams' uh, birthday and certainly on the, on the 5th will be uh, Sister Emma Evelyn Jones' birthday which we uh, celebrated on yesterday in a wonderful Way. Yeah. And, and, and then we have uh, Mother Orly Rivers' birthday will be on the 7th. Yeah. Uh, this is the Sister yeah. Clinton's birthday on the uh, 8th. This is the Robin Gilmore's birthday is on the 8th. Yeah. Amen. And so we are <coughs> thankful to God. Amen. And the others will announce on the Next Sunday, we try to do it the week that they're going to fall in. Yeah. But certainly a great full family again to uh, celebrate Sister uh, Emma, uh, Evelyn Jones' uh, yeah. birthday. So we get a nice time. We are honored to be uh, there Amen. in that celebration. And uh, I didn't think much about it until Sister uh, Jones uh, mentioned it herself. Uh, what she was saying a couple, she said, uh, when you read her, she said a couple years ago, I didn't think I would be here. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 A couple of years ago, yeah. she was pretty, you know, yeah. 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 doctors, you know, oh, yeah. they were yeah. talking. Uh, amen. Uh -huh. But look at now. Yeah.
Lord, we thank God for our brother being here today. We are together uh, on uh, last uh, what was that? Uh, Thursday? Thursday. Thursday, I uh, had to eulogize a uh, brother at uh, Officer Shirley Home that I knew his uh, family for years. We come up in the same church. I knew his mother, father, and all of his brothers, and uh, his grandmother, amen. And he, uh, this young man, was uh, uh, suffered from cognitive uh, deficit, amen. Just in case you might not understand that term, uh, it's the way that we used to say folks is retarded. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not politically correct mm -hmm. to say that now. Mm -hmm. You say cognitive deficit mm -hmm. or intellectual uh, disorder. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. And so this brother that lived in Mary's. Uh, Center for the disabled people for over 50 years. Mm -hmm. Amen. His mother and all father took real good care of him. Amen. And so uh, his niece, that was his guardian now, uh, who come up in church with me and uh, asked me would I uh, do the service. Mm -hmm. And uh, we did uh, the service on Thursday. Amen. I was sharing with that congregation of people at the funeral home that uh, uh, there are some things that uh, the church shuns talking about. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it leaves out people. Uh, well, the Bible says is we're ignorant concerning certain things. Exactly. Amen. Because we just don't talk about that right. That's right. in the church where That's people right. can amen make a good decision about yes. it. And yes. one of them is uh, suicides. Amen. We don't talk about we don't want to talk about that's a new area to talk about in church. Usually yeah. things we don't talk about are the things that are really uh, really tearing the church up. Mm -hmm. amen. amen. And then uh, there's a, another uh, we don't like to talk about uh, people that suffer from cognitive uh, deficit. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. We question. Mm -hmm. We question what happened to folks when they commit suicide. Mm -hmm. And much of the thinking in the church is that when people commit suicide, they go straight to hell. Mm -hmm. that's, that's much of the teaching mm -hmm. in the church. Mm -hmm. But we need to examine that uh, teaching. Mm -hmm. And we'll find out it's not necessarily so. Right. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. Uh, because there are some people that have been born again, saved, and come to a place where they become so depressed mm -hmm. until they take their own life. Mm -hmm. They don't lose their salvation. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right. Amen. And then uh, there's a question about. What happens to people that die and they all have a mental issue? All right. They can't communicate. Right. Amen. They can't talk at all. What happens then when they die? Do, yeah. they, yeah. do they go to yeah. hell? All right. I hear you. I hear you. Amen. And so, <coughs> so I was sharing with the people. Thursday that uh, with our brother Anthony and, and I thank God for God we serve. Yes, sir. Thank you, God. I was telling them that uh, when a person cannot choose for Christ, mm -hmm. you know, one day I heard the voice yes, sir. of Jesus saying, and they opened the door and I came down the aisle and I made a choice. Right. to accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. Uh -huh. But there are some people that are not able to make that choice. Uh -huh. 
Amen. Amen. What did uh, God tell Jonah and Jonah to wipe out Nineveh? Mm -hmm. He said, Jonah, you're going to kill all these people. Don't you know I have 120,000 people here mm -hmm. that don't know they left here from their right Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So either they were babies or they were people with mm -hmm. mental issues. Mm -hmm. And you want me to kill all these? Amen. And so I was sharing with them and, and, uh, that. Uh, when one is not able to make a choice mm -hmm. for God, God makes the choice for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. I said, when one is not mentally able yeah. to make a choice for God, God makes yes, sir. a choice for them. In other words, God chooses them. When they cannot choose him. Amen. And I can think of our God in no other way that he will do like that. He will make a choice for every mental person that is not able to make the choice. He makes the choice for him. Amen. So our brother, I'll share with him, our brother is in the presence of the Lord. There's no more curse, no yes. more sickness, no yes. more aches, and no Boy. more pain. Amen. 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 He's a good God. Yes, he is. 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 Yes, No, ma'am, I have some people. Mm -hmm. Take me, this is my body, 
which is broken for you. This is your remembrance of me. After the same matter also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do be as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. Let us pray. Eternal God our Father, we thank you for this and the opportunity to partake of our broken body and shed blood. God, we pray that you change these elements from the natural to the spiritual, that when we partake of them, that bring healing to our body and strength to our body and strength to our inner man. God, we say thank you for your great love, your great sacrifice on our behalf. For the record is that while we get sinners, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. God, we pray that you bless us as we commune with our sisters and brothers. It is in the name of Jesus our Christ we pray. Amen.
allowing us to commune together yeah. on this Lord's day. And God is good and He is worthy of our praise. Certainly as our choir comes and prepares us to sing, certainly I would ask you to join me in prayer for Sister Pat's grandson. And that is what we believe in. We, we do serve somebody. 
certainly thank our choir for those selections. Amen. Right. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. For you can depend on God. Oh, yeah. You oh, can't yeah. nobody do oh, like God. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For he is my friend. Certainly, thank God for evening and assisting you speaking with us Amen. this morning. Amen. Thank God for her daughter's amazing. Amen. Thank God for her Amen. pressing her way yeah. out. Amen. Sometimes you just have to press out. Amen. 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 Sometimes we don't always feel the best. There's a reward in pressing. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. 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 God has blessed those who just press their way. Oh, yes. Amen. So we are grateful for her being here on this morning. Amen. Oh, Oh, 
God. Through the storm. Through the rain. Through sickness. And through pain. I can depend upon God. And then when we come to the benediction, we leave out here with a message of hope. Amen. Thank God for, again, His grace and His goodness. Uh, I want to speak. We started a new quarter in Sunday school. And uh, this first unit is uh, under the title Experiencing Hope. Amen. It's the first unit of lessons. Experiencing uh, Hope. And today's lesson is titled Hope Amidst Suffering. Hope Amidst Suffering. Now to those that were in the Sunday school lesson, I'm not, I'm not going to preach the lesson. I'm just going to speak from uh, the subject. Amen. The unit thing. Experiencing hope. And uh, hope amidst suffering. And our text, which we'll deal with, will be Romans chapter 5 and the first five verses. Amen. Hope. We sing about hope, we talk about it. But what is hope? Our lesson this morning said uh, hope is not wishful thinking. Hope is not wishful thinking. But biblical hope is confident The assurance that something will happen because God has assured it's coming to fruition. Hope means to anticipate with pleasure. A comfort expectation. How do y'all expect God to do something right now, in your life? Yes. Amen. About your situation. Amen. You have hope. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh, yeah. Which is confident expectation. Amen. I know God is going to work this out. I knew a friend some years ago with a relative of mine about a situation. I remember telling him, I don't know what God is going to do. And I don't know how he's going to do it. But I know he's going to work it out. But God can do just that. He worked it out. Amen. I had some people that were facing a number of years in the prison. Amen. We were praying. And uh, one morning, the whoever in the jail came to my relative's cell and told him to pack his things up. We got to have him out here by 1 o'clock. Got to have him out here. And he was facing a number of years. And he was a free man today. That scares me because I remember talking to this brother. I said, I know how 
God's going to do. But I feel and I know He's going to do something. Oh, yes. Hope. Confident. The song says, somehow, some way, things are going to work out. Somehow. Now that's hope. I don't know how, but somehow, some way, things are going to work out. Falls one. Suffering is a part of the human condition. Amen. It's something that we can't get around in this life. Amen. They are sure to come in many forms. Jesus said, In this world, Ye will, ye shall have trials and tribulations. But be of good cheer. For I have overcome the world. John 16, 33. And my brothers and sisters, we are not exempt. Now look out there. How many of y'all figured that out now? You're not exempt. Your family is not exempt. Amen. Trouble, amen, is a part of the human condition. And it's something that we can't get around. Amen. If you find a way around trouble, uh, don't tell, don't tell me. If you find a way around it, don't tell me because whatever you find must not be nothing to it. Because the Bible said you will have trouble. Amen. Amen. Psalm 23 and 4. Yea, though I walk through the sunless valley of deep darkness. That's the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Because the Lord is with me, I have the victory over every adverse situation that comes against me. Do y'all believe that today? Because the Lord is with me. You can't fail with the Lord with you. How many of y'all Amen. How many of y'all feel like that today? Regardless of what happens, regardless of what comes my way, regardless of how dark, deep, alone the valley may be, I will fear no evil, for thou art. I come through many hard trials, yeah, yes. through temptations on every hand. Yeah, yeah. Though Satan tried to stop me, yeah. to place my feet yeah. on sinking sand. Yeah, yeah. Through the pain and all my sorrows, through the tears and all my fears, the Lord was there. For he kept me in the midst of the How many can testify that he has kept me through the midst of the Through sickness, through surgery, all sorts of trouble, he has. Through the midst of it all. 
That word excess means a weight of energy. That way of excess means the privilege of approach to a person of high rank. Excess. You know, in last week's Bible said we talked about how Jesus, when he died on the cross, and when he died, the earth shook, quaked, and it said the veil of the temple was torn in two. Where men could see where they had never seen before. Amen. And a new and open way was opened unto men. We have access. I made all this. Lord help me. Well, let me go a little further. Let me go. In the Catholic Church, uh -huh. they had a thing called confession. Right. Well, you had booths and priests on the other side. All right. And the priest on the other side is just, mess, just as messed up as the person on the other side. Amen. 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 And the person goes to this confessional and he confesses his sin to the yes, priest. Sir. Yes, sir. Even to say, Father, I have sinned. And he might say, well, my son, uh, do uh, 20 Hail Marys a day. Read the rosary, pray the rosary, thy sins are absolved. Yeah. Absolved. Yeah. Amen. And they go their way. But thanks be to God. I don't have to go to no priest. I have excess. You have excess to God. I can go straight to God. Amen. And talk directly to Him. I'm not glad about that. I don't know about you, but I'm glad about that. By whom also we have access. The privilege of approach to a person of high rank. And there's no higher rank than God. Jesus. Amen. Amen. By faith, by whom also we have access, by faith. You know, this is all by faith. And to his grace, wherein we stand. Believers in Christ stand in the sphere of God's grace. Because Christ has brought them to this position. And then we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Thank God we have excess. In the midst of suffering. That's our hope in the midst of suffering. That we can go to God. In prayer. Amen. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 16. The writer says, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace. Come on. We don't have to sneak around. Yeah. But we can come to God boldly. Come on, brother. To the throne of grace. Yes, yes. That we may obtain mercy yes, yes. and find grace to help in times of need. Oh, yes. Help God with what? Yes. Thanks be to God. Thank we can come boldly. Oh. Now we got to do this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Unto the throne of grace. That we may obtain. Mercy and then find grace oh, yes. to help in the time of need. Yes. <laughs> and I don't know of too many folk that even right now, maybe in our midst, that are not experiencing right now a time of need. Oh, yes. Amen. 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 
We all need the Lord to do something. I don't know about you, but it's a time of need for me. Now we got to I need the Lord to touch my mind. It's a time of need. And so I can boldly go. Have we got to do To the throne of grace. Amen. Amen. Sometime, have mercy, Lord. When I was just a boy, uh -huh. when I wanted something, yes. I didn't keep haul around. Yes. I went to my mother. Yes. Oh, man. Yes. Told her what I wanted. Uh -huh. Did I always get it? All right. But it wasn't because I didn't ask. That's right, that's right. I went bold. Yeah, Lord. That's how children do. That's how the Bible talks. We ought to have childlike faith. Mm -hmm. And children, children think their parents are made of money. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. They think you're made of money. Mm -hmm. That's how they got to do So they come bold. They say, Mama, I want a new pair of jobs. Or you like They think you're made of money. So they come bold. And since we know that our Father is rich, all the sin and glory belongs to Him. Mercy and grace. We don't have to hee haw around. We can come before the strong bold. Hell, yeah. yes. Yes. Right. Amen. To the throne of grace. Yes. That we may find obtain mercy and grace and find grace to help us. Yes. Because the passage of the Bible says you have not because you ask not. Yes. You ought to come bold. Yes. If you are his child mm -hmm. and he's your father, yes. he wants you to come yes. bold. Because yes. that's the kind of God. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. Then in verse 3, Romans 1 and 3. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. Knowing that tribulations work in patience. We glory. In tribulations. Also. With joy, let us exalt in our suffering and rejoice in our hardships. Knowing that hardship, distress, pressure, and trouble produces patient endurance. How we got to do this? Amen. Somebody might say that don't, that don't make sense. But yes, it does. Amen. 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 That's what he's saying in verse 3, that we need to rejoice in our hardship. Mm -hmm. Don't let, what the song said, don't let your trouble yeah. get you down. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. We ought to rejoice in our hardship. Our distress, our pressure, and troubles. Amen. Have a good Come on. And then before he says, and patience, <coughs> experience, mm -hmm. and experience, hope. Yes. And that hope is spiritual mm -hmm. maturity. Yes. Yes. I don't have to fall out <coughs> when things. How we got to You know, sometimes we were children, young, and uh, when we didn't get our way, we'd fall out. <laughs> sometimes in the floor, kicking and screaming. How we got to But we grew out of that. Yes. Well, some of us did. <laughs> we grew out of that. Yeah. Amen. Great. And now, Experience hope, spiritual maturity. That's it, that's it. Amen. 
Because, listen, because of what God has done for me, because of what God done for you in the past. Have you got everything? Amen. You are able to trust Him with what's going on right now. Have you got everything? Did they bring me this for me? To leave me now. And the same God. Same God. Boy, was I to cross this room. There's so many of you could say this. The same God. Same God. That touched my body. Yeah, yeah. Same God that brought me through surgery. Yeah, my yeah. God. Ten years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the same God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I trust him today oh, yeah. to do the same thing yeah, yeah, yeah. he did yeah. back then. Oh, yeah. I think it's trust him. Yeah. Amen. I'm never disappointed. Yes. 
Amen. Amen. Never disappointed mm -hmm. in God. Amen. 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 That word disappointment means to put to shame yeah. mm -hmm. because of disappointment and unfulfilled promises. Mm -hmm. Have a God have mercy, Lord. Mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. has never let me die. Amen. Have a God be the very fact that I'm standing here <coughs> today, and the very fact that you sit in those pews, says that God has never let you down. Amen. 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 He hasn't always given me what I asked for, yeah. but He has never let me down. Have I got a witness? Amen. I've never been ashamed or disappointed. Have I got a witness? Yes, sir. Amen. Because the love of God yeah. is shed. Yeah. Some of your Bible says the love of God is poured out yeah. into our hearts yeah. by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Amen. 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 How so? Uh, how can we experience hope in the midst? Of suffering. Mm -hmm. How can we experience this hope in the midst of suffering? James 1 and 2. Count it all joy. When you meet various trials, count it all. For you know that the testing or the trying of your faith produces a patience, steadfastness. Come on, Grandma. That's the same word. You know that the testing, uh, let me say this, the things you suffer. The things you go through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell God yes, sir, yes, sir. Faith produces patience. Steadfastness. And that word steadfastness means the ability to remain under difficulties without giving in. Have I got a witness? Steadfastness, the ability, amen, to remain under difficulties without giving in. Have I got a witness? The ability to suffer through, to go through, the ability to hold on when things are difficult and not giving in. Amen. Last week we talked about how when a boxer is boxing and his uh, trainer or whoever in his corner feels that he had enough and uh, sometimes against the fighter's own amen. The trainer will have a white towel and he'll throw the towel to the center of the ring. And doing that he's saying my fighter is not coming out. Right. The fight is over. Mm -hmm. Steadfastness mm -hmm. is the ability to remain mm -hmm. under difficulties without throwing in the time, without giving in. Mm -hmm. Have a God. Yes. Count it all joy. Yes. Amen. Count it all joy, brother. When you meet. Various trials. Look, in other words, James is saying, let us keep on rejoicing. Have yes. God with us. James is saying, let us keep on rejoicing. <coughs> Amidst suffering, let us keep on 
rejoice. Don't let your troubles, don't let your suffering get you down. Amen. Oh, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Sometimes mm -hmm. you can feel so bad. Mm -hmm. Anybody ever, mm -hmm. ever force the praise of mm -hmm. <laughs> you sing mm -hmm. when you really don't feel like singing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And if you keep on singing, right. hell we got a week. Yeah. Yeah. You'll start to feel that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you'll find one song I'm talking about. But we go on the inside. One song coming after another. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In the midst yes. of your son. Yes. That James 1 says, really say, keep on rejoicing. Keep on singing. Don't let your trouble steal your prayers. Keep on. Amen. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. And the psalm says the same thing. In Psalm 34 and 1, the psalmist says, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mind. It's not about how I feel. I will bless the Lord. At all times. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. At all times. Mm -hmm. When I'm up, yeah. I'll serve the blessing. Yeah. When I'm down, yeah. I'll bless it. Yeah. When I'm sick, yeah. I'll bless it. Yeah. When I'm well, yeah. I'll bless it. Yeah. Through sorrows, through sadness, through yeah. sickness, through yeah. ups and downs. That's what the song said. I'll bless the Lord at all times. Regardless of what's going on in my life, I will bless the Lord. And his praise shall continue be in my mind. Have mercy, Lord. So in the midst of suffering, of whatever sort, I will bless the Lord. Have we got a witness? Yes. On the hospital bed? Yes. At home recovery? Yes. Have we got a witness? Yes. Surgery? Yes. I will bless the Lord yes. amidst suffering of whatever source. Mm -hmm. Have we got a witness? Yes. Yes. That comes, and I'm closing. There comes a time in the believer's life that they will have to have a conversation with themselves. Y'all believe that? Sometimes you need to sit yourself down. Instead of you always want to sit somebody else down. Talk to them. Sometimes you need to sit yourself down and have a conversation with yourself. As the psalmist does, amen, you sit down, ask yourself, let me help you be start. just in case you don't know where you start. Ask yourself, What's wrong with you? I hear you. I Talk hear you. to yourself. Son, I hear you. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Well, all right. Come and have a good day. Amen. You need to ask yourself. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Then you go on and say, Why? And for what reason am I so sad, depressed, talking to myself? 
And then sometimes we need to sit down and ask ourselves, why are you crying? Why are you complaining? And we can go on. But the psalmist one day sat down and he had to talk with himself. In Psalm 42 and 11, he asked himself, why are thou cast down? Oh, my soul. Why are you cast down? So depressed and so sad. Just why? Help me out of this. Come on. And why art thou disquiet within me? And look what he says to his soul. To his soul. Hold thou in God. in God. Why should I get praise who is the health of my countenance and my God. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. I think that's a good conversation that we can have with our friends. Amen. What's wrong with you? Oh, Lord, have mercy. so hard to get along with. Have a Why is it that when you show up, folks don't scatter? Amen. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? And if God, now this is me. Amen. If God is your Savior, why and for what reason are you so sad? God is not a sad spirit. He does not give a sad spirit. And if He's your God, you ought to rejoice in the Lord always. Regardless of the situation, rejoice. Amen. Why are you depressed? There's no reason for you to. When God is you, God, why do you cry? Amen. Thank God for hope in the midst of suffering. And that hope is in Jesus Christ. Sister, Marie sings the song that I have hope. When things are not well with me, I have hope. How many of y'all have hope? And this hope is in Jesus Christ, our Lord. And it's this hope that gives us the victory. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Thank God for this book. Yes. Thank God. On Friday, on the hill of Calvary, yes. Jesus, our Lord and Savior, humbly laid him down for all of our sins, laid him in a bar of grave, but early the third day morning, because God was satisfied in his sacrifice. God quickened his body and Jesus rose from the grave with all powers in his hand. Stayed around 40 days. After 40 days, he caught the clouds and went back to glory. Before he got too far out, he let them know that I'm coming back Thanks be to God. That's our hope that He's coming back again. The doors of the church are open. If you're here, you're not Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Come to Jesus while you have this place. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus.